Welcome back. Today, we look at the subject of illegal mining on by the numbers. In the last couple of weeks, you remember, key government officials have expressed fears about the possible impact of a drastic Galamse fight on electoral fortunes. It has been suggested that the government is not being upfront in dealing with the menace due to possible political implications. And we want to subject that to some analysis. Maona is here with me to do just that. Now, uh, we know that in the first term, there was a sustained fight. Uh, we saw how Im the implications in the last election. Is this safe to say that, you know, that fight caused that, the loss of 32 seats? That's very subjective and a very difficult thing to say if we look at what the numbers say. So the Governor New Patriotic Party in 2016 won 169 seats. In 2020, they lost that majority where we had the hung parliament, losing 32 seats. Mm -hmm. But interestingly, out of the 32 seats they lost, only nine were in mining areas. If you work the numbers, that's 28 0.2%. It's less than 30%, which signifies that 71.8% of the seats that they lost are in non-mining areas. Mm. And so it makes the argument very difficult for you to openly state that the government lost a lot of seats because of the clampdown on the activities of illegal mining. Because if you work the numbers, that's less than 30% right. of, of the seats that they lost. And uh. so a difficult argument to make, particularly on the front of... of Parliament mm. and the number of seats that they lost in the 2020 elections. I see. I mean, it would appear the numbers don't support that at all. At all, it cannot be any reliable excuse, excuse from the government or you know supporters of the government. Mm. But how about the presidential race? The presidential as well makes for an interesting view. And so, in 2020, generally there was a significant. I won't, I won't call it significant, but there was some drop, percentage drop in terms of votes for the governing New Patriotic Party. 2.4% drop mm. in votes for the NPP. And if you look at, uh, if you compare this to 96, where the NDC in 1992 had won uh, significantly, where right. there was a drop in, in terms of the supports they enjoyed in 96, a similar argument has been made with regards to the drop which was witnessed between 2016 and 2020. Mm -hmm. Despite this, though, the present won a lot more votes because of the, the, the voter roll increasing. He nominally had more than 900,000 plus votes. But in terms of percentage-wise, there was a 2.4 percentage drop mm -hmm. in terms of vote. But the president's vote, however, further declined significantly in mining areas. As to whether or not that argument can be made that it was because of the activities of illegal mining, it's difficult to say. Because, mind you, there was a drop, 2.4 percentage mm -hmm. point in terms of comparing what was seen in 2016 and 2020. And in these mining areas, for instance, Takwan Swaim, Amenfi East, Prisia, Huni Valley, and Amenfi West, Upper West, Takim, Fantiaka North, also known as Osino, Obwasi East, and Mansun Kwanta, we saw the votes declined there as well. But again, the argument has been made, or you can see from the numbers that there was some drop mm -hmm. for the NPP and President Kufuado in 2020. And so, sticking that argument solely at the fact that the government was clamping down on the activities of illegal mining makes it a tad bit difficult. I mean, what projections then, based on what you have explained, are we making for the 2024 elections vis-a-vis, -vis, uh, you know, the Galamse fight right now? A difficult thing to, to, to be able to project because, mind you, we're entering into uh, an election where a lot of the predictions is that because of the eight-year cycles uh, that we've seen since 92, the tide is shifting a lot more towards the opposition NDC. That's one thing to consider for starters, before uh, we saw the general decline in, in votes. And so based off on the numbers that we've seen and the trajectory of votes and the patterns that we've seen, it's a difficult thing to call. And it's further even more difficult to be able to say that a fight against illegal mining could spell doom for the governing new patriotic party. As we've seen a lot of the, the rating agencies come through with their predictions, the polls and the likes, it's not centered largely on the, on the fight against illegal mining. Mm. So it will be a difficult thing to call to say that the fight against illegal mining could cost the governing new patriotic party mm. at the 2024 elections. In other words, you know, the NPP has no excuse not to fight 
uh, illegal mining at this point Absolutely. or even unethical small scale mining. Thank you for the numbers. That's it for the by the numbers. But when we come back, we'll bring you regional hub.